I were doing this interview in California uh, just last fall. There was a Proposition uh, 37 that failed, and that would have basically uh, required labeling of mm -hmm. genetically modified products. Why did that fail? It seems like such a, a no-brainer. A million dollars a day was spent on disinformation, more than a million. So if you are an unsuspecting Californian who may not even heard of GMOs, you're going to hear that Prop 37 is going to cost you $400 a year more in your groceries, that it was poorly written with exceptions developed by special interests, that it was designed by uh, trial lawyers to create shakedown lawsuits, that it's bad for farmers, that it's bad for small business. All of that's untrue. It's not going to cost anyone extra, and it just requires companies to acknowledge if they're using GMOs. But the disinformation was so profound it caused so many people to be confused about Prop 37, and we know that if someone is confused about a proposition, they tend to vote no. The good news is that a proposition back in 2002 in Oregon was swapped from a 70% advantage in the beginning to a 30% vote, so they, they completely switched the electorate uh, when they spent for the disinformation campaign. In California, after close to $50 million was spent, still 48.6% of the population voted in favor of Prop 37. So we lost by the skin of our teeth, mm -hmm. but it's now being voted upon in November in Washington. There are bills before many different state legislatures. It's just a matter of time before the U.S. catches up with the 62 other countries that have either labeling or outright bans on GMOs.